find the radius of curvature of, uh, of the curve y is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 at x is equal to 5. So formula lang to class na. For the radius of curvature, dapat memorize lang natin to. Ang radius of curvature ay given by the formula uh, 1 plus y prime quantity raised to 2. Uh, that quantity raised to 3 halves all over the absolute value of y double prime. Yun lang ang ating kailangan. So madali lang to kasi meron tayong linear lang class na equation. Or no, cubic na equation class. Polynomial pala na equation ang ibig ko sabihin. So we have this y is equal to uh, y prime, idiritso na natin class. Ano yung y prime? That is equal class to 3x squared plus 5. Ayun yung ating uh, uh, minus 4x pa. I-differentiate lang natin to class. 3x squared minus 4x plus 5. 3x squared minus 4x plus 5. That is our y prime. How about the y double prime? Ang y double prime natin, that will become 6x. I-differentiate ulit. Minus 4. At x is equal to 5, yun yung hinanap. At x is equal to 5. So, ano yung value ng y at saka ng y prime at x is equal to 5? So, we have this one. Ang y prime ay equal to 3 times 5 squared. That is 3 times 25 minus 4 times 5 plus 5. Yun yun. That is equal to 60. 60 ang y prime. How about the y double prime? At x is equal to 5. So, y double prime. So, magiging 6 times 5 minus 4. That is equal to 26. 26. Di tapos ang kaso. Pag meron tayong formula, so ang radius of curvature ay given ay makuha natin 1 plus y prime. That is equal to 60 raised to 2. Quantity raised to 3 halves. So, tanggalin lang natin to 60 squared. Tapos raised to 3 halves. All over the quantity all over the quantity y double prime. Okay, that is the answer. Absolute value, positive pa rin. We have this calcio tire class. Fraction 1 plus 60 raised to 2. Hindi ko nalagyan ng parenthesis. Lagyan ko lang class para sa ekonomiya. Saan ka na? <laughs> raised to 3 halves. Raised to 3 halves. All over 26. That is the answer. 8,311.15. 8, 8,311.15. The radius of curvature letter outlet. Chicken joy, baby!